What's going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I'm bringing you another part of our How to Build an Online Course in Wix mini series. And today we'll be exploring adding different media types as compared to just video as we show throughout the whole mini series. If you're brand new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're not brand new here, make sure that you click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. Pretty great place to be with an even better community. Without further ado, let's jump in to today's video. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here in the Wix editor. I'm going to preface this video by saying, as mentioned, I've already completed an entire mini series on how to build an online course in Wix, parts one through six. So if you're watching this one for the first time, I highly suggest you go back by clicking the card above and watching the rest of this mini series. So that way you're up to speed on where we're at because we've already built our entire online course infrastructure, we've already built out the pages plans, all that good stuff. We've done a lot of the technical work. In this video, we're going to explore adding a different media type, such as an image or a document to your database, so that way you can add more content types than just video. In the purpose of our mini-series, I showed you how to do it with video as a basic starting explanation point, so that way you can take it from there. I've heard a lot of you already with some great success stories with this, which I'm so happy to hear, but now I've also gotten a lot of questions regarding, okay, how do I add more media? media types. You know, what if I want to add an image in there as well that they can click an image and see the image. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. What I also want to tell you is that you can see here I built out my course pages to reflect what I was uploading, which was video. So I only have a video title and a video and the infrastructure and design is very base level. And the reason for that is because I wanted to simply show you the explanation and functionality of how to get to this point. What I'm going to tell you is you need to carefully and artfully think out the design and infrastructure of your course pages. How do you want content lined out? Uh, how much content do you want on each page? Do you want a page per module? You have to think about all of these questions as you're building out your online course. I gave you the starting infrastructure on how to build the database and display the data so that way you can actually post your course content and charge people to access it and limit their access based on their membership level on pages. I showed you how to do all that, but the design aspect of it and lining it out and actually building out that infrastructure in terms of what content goes on what page is going to be on you. So now what I'm going to show you in this version is how to add an additional media type going to our content manager and then going to our course content database because remember all of our content is stored in this database. Right now as you can see we've got video title and video in our database. That's what we use throughout this mini series. However, if we're ready to add a new media type, what we're going to do is we're going to press this add button. Now, I'm going to pretend as if we're doing an image. A lot of people have asked, how do I add image? Documents were a popular one too. If you guys want to see how to add documents, comment in the description or in the comments below and let me know if you want to see additional video on how to add documents. So in this, we'll do um, image. Uh, image add. We'll just call it image add just for sake of words. And then field type, we are going to choose image. And then we're going to click save. And just like that, we've added an additional media type to our database for us to now be able to add an image into our database. Now what we would do is when we're ready to add that image, you'll come in here, you'll click that add button, add image. And then it'll take you to your media manager. From here, you'll go to upload media. I'll just go to my Wix account. Hopefully, I've got a picture of me just sitting here. Yeah, I'll just pull this one nice and easy. I'll pick an image. You'll pick an image, obviously, that you want that's for your course. You'll then click add the item. 
and now you've got an image field here in your database. That's great, and we've got the database portion of it set. However, we also need an output, right? We need to actually display that image. So now we're gonna X out of our database, and we're gonna come back to our course page. Once again, you have to craft your infrastructure, your design, and determine how you want it to be laid out. I'm going to add an image here and it's probably not going to look the greatest. It's not going to look like a sexy course, right? So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to add images. Um, I'll just choose this one. It's default. So you're not going to actually see it change because I'm going to link it to the database, but you're going to see what I, what I mean. Um, so there we go. We'll add our image and you'll see it then adds it across the board on all of our repeaters. So you can see this is kind of an odd design. It's not a bad design, but it's an odd design because, you know, there's just an image next to the video. And again, this comes out to designing your course the best way for your best user experience. So now what we have to do is we've got our image in here. Just like we did with video, we have to connect it via the data set from the database to pull the data. So we're going to go up here to our data button, connect to data. Then we are going to click uh, choose a data set, module one data set, and then image source connects to, and let's see, do we have, looks like it hasn't fully populated yet. Let me make sure I save, and then let me also make sure our data set is set up properly here. Let's see here. Mm. All right, guys. So the reason we had complications connecting to that data set is because we didn't upload that field type to that data set. We uploaded that field type to the course content, not the module one data set. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to content manager. We're going to add content elements. We're going to add a data set. And just like we would normally do, we're just going to double click on our data set. We're going to connect it to course content database. We're going to choose read only. We're going to press X and then we're going to do exactly what we just did, which was go back to our image. Click connect to data. We're going to connect it to course content data set image source connects to image add and then we are good to go. Now we can press save and once again, this is the same image that I uploaded into the database. So you're not going to see it change. Um, but if we press preview, you'll see, voila, you can see that we've got it added. Now, I added this video twice to the database, um, if you guys remember from earlier in the series. And you'll notice that this image only shows on this particular repeater because I only added one image. So the image does not show on this repeater because I only added one. And that's something important for you to know. If you don't have an image for every single line in the database, that's fine. It just won't show in that spot. So this is why you also have to kind of plan out how you design your course content because it will be reflected here. And that's why you can see it's a little weird of a design in this particular sense because it's just a blank space here, right? So you want to make sure you have that. And I need to connect that uh, video title text. I accidentally unconnected that um, earlier before messing around with this stuff. Um, but we have our video title up here. Uh, if we go back to editor, I'll show you. And what we would do is we just come back into here, grab our video title, connect it to data, and connects to video title. And then if we press preview, there you go. You can see that's how it works. So there you go. That's how you add an image type as a new media type to your course content selection and offering here in Wix. If you'd like to see the document version about how to do this with documents, comment below. If this video helped you out, I would kindly ask that you drop a like. Comment, let me know how you've enjoyed this mini series so far and what additional parts to this particular mini series you would like to see. And lastly, remember, you don't want to miss any of this awesome content between this and our Editor X training content. You don't want to miss it. So make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any of the content. You'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. A pretty great place to be with an even better community. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you on our next one.